Got about 60 seconds remaining. Good morning, Wake Forest. Good morning, Mr. Thompson. Today we continue with unit rates and we're going to jump into something called proportions. But first, quick review. Go ahead and take a seat. Coming around, I had to remind some of us to make sure we're using our annotations. Our annotations will help us figure out what we have in the problem, which will also help us draw our picture correctly. Let's take a look at Two problems, but we're all, two papers, but we're only going to focus on problem number one. Take a look here. The circumference of a circle is 121 pi meters. What is the radius of the circle? First, take 45, six, 45 seconds. What you're going to do in these 45 seconds is have the answer to the following question. Do we agree with the picture and the formulas that were written down? Do we agree with the picture and the formulas that is written down? Take 45 seconds. Think for yourself. One minute with the person sitting next to you. Do you agree or disagree? If you agree, have evidence to support. Why? If you disagree, find what needs to be changed. 60 seconds. Go. Um, I disagree. I disagree because I think 121 is actually the diameter because pi is right beside 121. So that shows that pi is being multiplied by 121. So it would be d times pi, which would equal the circumference. 15 seconds. Before I ask you the questions that I ask, what do you notice about the circumference that they've given you? What do you notice about the circumference? Jacoby. What do you mean by it's exact? That it's uh, pi. Someone help him out with a little bit more. It's not pi, it is exact. What do we mean by it is exact? Dakaya. Um, you mean is 121 the circumference? 121 pi is our circumference. Jacoby said that is our exact circumference. How does he know this? Because pi equals 3.14. Hmm. Micaiah. We don't know what pi equals. We do not know what pi is, so in our formula we must multiply pi by our, di by our diameter, and that will tell us, because we don't know pi, that is exact. So. If we have our circumference, how do we find our diameter? Think about it, hands down. If we have our circumference, how do we find our diameter? J 
Jamaria, I'm coming to you at 15 cents. Go. How do we find our diameter if we have the circumference? If you have the Someone help me out to understand what Jamario is trying to say. Destiny. Oh, uh, what he's trying to say is that um, without pi, you have your um, diameter because this is when you take out pi, your diameter gonna be there because um, since um, pi, when you have pi, is the exact, and then we have, when we get this. When we get our circumference, we have to multiply our diameter by pi because this is our di diameter in pi. So this way, we can do it. Destiny and Jamari are using one important piece of information to tell me that in my answer, 121 is my diameter and pi is pi. What are they using to help figure that out? Nelly. I don't want the strategy. There's a reason why they say, well, if I'm looking at this, I know the diameter is 121. Where are they getting that information from? Oh, because it equals from the diameter, but the circumference of the pie. Yeah. 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 Mario, we're back to you. Okay, so um, with the diameter, you find the exact sign, but all you gotta do is like diameter, you multiply it by two. I mean, you multiply it by one point one one point one three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You multiply it by two. You multiply it by two. So you get your diameter times pi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I asked us to write it down before we started. That's the formula. The formula. We get this from our formula. So we would know that our circumference is equal to diameter times pi. We see that it's written in this way, so it's exact. In order to find our diameter, going back to a lot of conversations that we said we must divide our circumference by pi. In this case, take a look here, and then take a look here. Both started with the same formula. Circumference, or my diameter is equal to circumference divided by pi. But we ended up with two different radii. The person on the left is correct. Where is the mistake for the person on the right? Find it in your partners, go. You got I like that. Keep that in mind when I come to you. Because on the top it says R equals D divided by 2, and then in the bottom it says check, she did 19.26 times 2, which it had to be division. That's what she got with a higher number. You were supposed to divide it, actually. Yeah, you divide it by, you divide it. So what did she divide? By she got mixed up, maybe. You divide by 2, 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 the one over there. The one that he goes, R equals six. Yeah, because I was working on it, and then I see that she has different answers than the other one. But I don't know how she did it. Yes. So, where's the mistake? They use 121. You said 121 should be in the diameter's place. If that's not the case, then how did they get 19? What number did they put in the diameter's place? Think about it. 40 seconds. What do, what do we think? The person.
question that was doing got confused at one time because it said R equals D divided by 2. And then at the bottom, we should check that she did 19.6 26 times 2. And that's where she got a, a, a different number than the person on the left. And we think that the person on the left is correct. <laughs> We did. Tom's pie and got him exactly 121. Is that exactly 121? Look at your calculator. Micaiah, what's the issue with paper two? They thought they had to find the diameter, but it was already there. They thought they had to find the diameter, but it was already there. How do we know the diameter is already here? Because, because if you had a circumference, you have the diameter. Because it's just, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. the circumference is the diameter is just without the pot. Well, it's just without pot. Clean it up for him. That's only true when, Dakai. Um, we know the diameter times pi is going to equal the circumference. Mm -hmm. Jamario's statement is only true when. It's only true when you have which means what, Jacoby? That you're looking for the exact. Jamario's statement is only true when we have pi. That means we have our exact answer, which goes back to Makai's point. Because this is exact, we already have our diameter. This person assumed that we still needed to find our diameter, so they took 121 and divided it by pi, and then took that and divided it by 2. Make sure you pay attention to your formulas because that sets you up for the rest of your work. Go ahead and turn to the next page. 